Okay, my name's Clenzo Fox, and I'm a lifelong resident of the resident of the hilltop. I um, feel that there is something special about the hilltop. Reverend Ashburn went, was in the Ohio legislature at one time, so you can see the kind of person he was. But I remember that <clears throat> these men and these women uh, were so much concerned, were so concerned about the community that they would not permit the establishment of anything on a segregated basis. Uh, at times there was some, because they were between Whitethorn or between Belvedere and Wayne Avenue, which was called Park Street at one time, uh, it was this small uh, community of African Americans. It was just a small group between those streets, about six streets here. And we basically lived between Sullivan Avenue and 100 and those blocks on the street were just a little patch of us in that community. Sometimes it was, uh, even though the hilltop was integrated in a sense that uh, we went to school with everyone else, we went to West, these were all integrated schools. Or basically, they, back in those days, they called them white schools. There were just a few of us. But any attempt to build something special for the African Americans was resisted by the Ellis Club and by the community. They were opposed to any kind of segregation. They thought we would be segregating ourselves. So this is a form of uh, separate but equal. But there was that strong that we're going to be, you're going to go to Highland Avenue School, you're going to go to West High School, you're going to go to Glenwood Park, you're going to go to Westgate, you're going to go, and later on, when the YMCA was built on the hilltop, there were men like uh, Mr. Curtis, and uh, I can't think of all the men who worked hard to see that we were included in all the activities at the YMCA. Um, so I think that that was a special history there that uh, many uh, don't know or don't realize. And, uh, they would not permit the building of a small park there uh, for the so-called colored kids back in those days. No, you're going to go to Holton Park, you're going to go to every park, you're going to participate in those parks, and you're not going to segregate yourself. And I consider that as being a, kind of looking ahead. Mr. Slaughter, who was with the NAACP, again, Reverend Ashman was the, was the giant, the, man, the person who led such a resistance to any type of, of activities that were segregators. The Hilltop was, uh, now we still, and for a youngster at that time, I kind of resented it because we were swimming in the quarry, we were swimming in the river, and we didn't go to, rip, we didn't go to the, um, I can't think of the Valley View, we didn't go to swimming at that, that was a swimming, that was a, they considered as a private club. And so we couldn't swim there, so we swam in the river, and we swam in the quarry, and some of the kids were lost because of that, because of the fact that uh, there were no lifeguards around, and swimming in the river and swimming in the quarry is not a good thing. I would not want my kids now to do that. I did it, but I wouldn't want them. So uh, those were, uh, I kind of look back upon those as, at some point as with a certain amount of mixed blessing, but looking at it now, on understanding the, the context of what has happened, uh, I understand why, and I understand that these men were really ahead of their own times in, in a way, and these women that were providing leadership.